Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com, and I have a question for you. Is it possible to have financial freedom in your home business by just making just two sales a month? Well, pay close attention because I'm going to prove it to you in this video by sharing with you and breaking down a case study of one of the most successful internet marketers in the home business space. So get out a pad of paper and a pen and be prepared to take some notes. Now the case study features Diane Hockman, who is a good friend of mine. She's also one of my mentors and really helped me for the first time experience results in my home business. If you don't know who Diane is, let me give you a little bit of background information on her. First, you'll want to follow her on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Diane Hockman. She started her home business in 1998 when she was $40,000 in credit card debt because she wanted to stay home and raise her two daughters. That was the most important thing in the world for her. So she left her college job because the thought of being working an hour away from her girls and if they were sick and she couldn't care for them really, really bothered her. So she decided to stay at home and raise her two daughters and wound up getting into forty thousand dollars worth of credit card debt she initially had success with her warm market in her network marketing business but things grew stale things leveled off and so she needed to find a way to fill her pipeline for fresh leads for her business so she began to learn how to leverage the internet using attraction marketing to build an engaged following she is one of the top affiliates in My Lead System Pro. She wins affiliate contests with an email list of only 4,500 subscribers. And by learning how to leverage the internet and attraction marketing and just making two sales per month was able to pay for her daughters, two daughters, Jillian and Sarah, their college educations in cash. And she breaks it down exactly how she does it and it's really quite simple when you look at it so if you want to get personally coached by Diane make sure you stay with me to the end of this video because I have something really cool to show you before we show Diane's plan we really need to understand what's going on in today's marketplace and why so many home business owners and network marketers are really struggling 97 percent are have a failure rate in this home business space and why is that most of the models that are being taught on, out there are setting you up for failure and it's not the fault of the system it's just the way these what the way Diane explained it is that a lot of these business models are at the mercy of the marketplace okay competition is fierce there are so many different companies out there so many different programs and services and you're competing for you know attention and there is so much noise out in the marketplace that people can't find you your people that would most benefit from your product service or business can't find you and that's why you really have to focus on branding yourself and not your network marketing company because companies come and go you remain the constant and not only that, you must brand yourself, you also must build a list to market to. And because people are so distracted, attrition is at an all-time high. People are jumping from company to company. They're restless. There's this shiny object syndrome going on out there. And when you look at products, product-based companies and financial programs are at the mercy of the marketplace. When you look at financial programs, all you have to do is look back at um, 2008. Before 2008, there was this big real estate boom. And then in 2008, when the market dropped out in the real estate market, people really lost a lot. One of my other good friends in the home business expert, Ray Higdon, he was in the, um, in the real estate space and wound up going into personal foreclosure. He was a, a successful real estate investor. So that shows you that, you know, Certain programs are always going to be at the mercy of the marketplace and what people are talking about. So there is one thing, though, 
that people buy in this industry and in the greater marketplace at large. And this is what Diane really honed in on, and that is training and information. You see, when you know, if you've ever been like 20 years ago when infomercials were all the rage on TV, you would uh, uh, midnight, if you couldn't fall asleep, you'd turn on the television and there's an infomercial running. That's how Tony Robbins wound up making uh, millions upon millions of dollars with his personal power and get the edge products, okay? Training and information works because it reacts to the marketplace and its transitions are opportunities because people want to know what's going on. So if there's something really hot going on in the marketplace, and to give you a couple examples from a couple different industries, back in the late 90s, there was this Billy Blanks who did this Tybo, this workout, and that became such a hot workout where people wanted to learn how to lose weight and they wanted some sort of a program that looked like it was fun and cool to do and it had cardio, it kind of had a combination of aerobics and kickboxing and everybody just loved doing that program. So that was a transition. Another type of transition is if you look online today, there's some really hot trends going on. In 2016, it was Snapchat. And so what happened was is that people who wanted to really monetize Snapchat were, you know, those who positioned themselves would create courses on Snapchat and people didn't care how much they were. They wanted to know how to do, uh, do business on Snapchat. They would spend any amount of money to get it. And in today, it is Facebook Messenger marketing with many chat. So people are paying big and top dollar for training and information, especially if there's a big trend going on right now. So Diane's simple plan focused on this. She focused her brand on one market, one quest, and one concept. So she started pointing people, you know, it, to have success in their business by generating leads and teaching them how to leverage the internet to generate leads, building a list. And what she did is she focused her brand on the front end by building her list to create a strong and residual and retail income. So she focused on programs that had memberships and different products and services. And she loved the memberships because memberships are continuity income. So if a person, as long as they're a member, you're always going to get paid every single month. And she also focused on products and services like offering, you know, autoresponder services like the autoresponder she uses, which is Aweber and other products and services that would help people get leads in their business. When she focused on the front end with doing strong residual and retail income, it created a stability layer that allowed her to cover expenses both in business and in life because you obviously want to scale your business doing paid advertising and if something happened in your life, maybe you wound up being in the hospital and getting sick or something happened with your kids or you had a family member, maybe your parents um, had a, an issue, a health issue or passed away and you're not able to devote time to your business, all you have to do is if you know how to market to your list, that can still keep bringing <clears throat> excuse me, residual income in even when you're not spending a lot of time if you're dealing with a life issue. And what she did is she focused training <clears throat> and she offered training both on the front end and on the back end. So an example of what she did is she offered products on the front end that brought in anywhere between $80, <clears throat> excuse me, and $150 per person profit on the front end and on the back end was between $4,000 to $10,000 per person profit. So what that boils down to is this. She built her list and built her brand up front. So she would go out there online and create an audience and people who would want to follow her. And she would do trainings and give a valuable content to serve her audience. She would bring in her leads through information products in a training tools program. So that helped her create leads and residual income on the front end. 
And then on the back end, she used her email list to sort through to find one or two customers a month for the back end, high end commissions program. And when she did that, she would find those two people that would pay what she had between 4000 and 10000 in getting those huge upfront commissions. And what this allowed her to do, it was this plan that allowed her to pay off the $40,000 in credit card debt and then pay for her two daughters' college educations all in cash. And now she has the lifestyle. Her goal wasn't to be on stage and be recognized as a top earner. All she wanted was to be able to earn an income so that she could stay at home and raise her two daughters, which is the most important thing in the world to her. And she was able to do it. So if you follow this case study of what she laid out, you can have results too. Did you find this video helpful today? Leave a comment and share. And I want to share with you right now, if you want to get personally trained by Diane Hoffman, really on how to use attraction marketing to grow your business, you have the opportunity to learn not only from her, but from 30 other top home business experts, learning how they used attraction in marketing and leveraging the power of the internet to grow your audience, influence, and income. Here are some other people that you can see that, in addition to Diane, are going to be doing the training. You're going to get Matt Morris, Mike Dillard, Doug Firebaugh, Ray Higdon, Rachel Jackson, Lisa Grossman, Todd Falcone, Cedric Harris, Ann Sieg, Vince Reed, Jonathan Budd, Lisa Torres, John and Nadia Melton, Masa Semizar, Miguel Montero, David Sharp, Tracy Walker, Todd and Lee Getz, Mark Hoverson, Tanya Eliza, her husband Cesar Rodriguez, Toby and Layla Black, and Kate McShay, to name a few. Best part is you can get access to these recordings today for free. So to get your free ticket, all you need to do is go to drlisamthompson.com forward slash attraction marketing summit. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.